Let's make it make sense. Be in Dubai. Oh, you got to be in Dubai. Show guys. Show guys. Hey. Now, nah, let's see some beer. They got me on EBT. <laughs> All right, y'all. Welcome back to Deep South Cutlery here today in the knife shop. And uh, I want to start doing a few little series of videos if we ever get Joe to cooperate. Y'all pray for Joe. Uh, about some, some things that we're interested in in the knife world. And uh, once again, y'all help us out. Write some questions down below if you want us to talk about something. We sure don't know everything, but we do like looking it up and trying to figure it out. But today, what we're going to talk about or try to talk about, pique your interest with, is uh, what do we like to put in our pockets. Now, if you look on the wall over there, we have tons of elephant toes. Uh, Daddy's got a ton of knives. Granddaddy yeah. Barlow's. Yeah, and, and what we collect <coughs> is mostly bone and stag. Boy, get your hands on all the stag you can. Pearl, mammoth, that cool stuff there. Abalone. Even some wood. Yeah, abalone. It's cool stuff there. But what I tote, what I tote, I don't know about, about not what you tote, yet, but what you're wanting to. Huh? I want my tote. But what I tote, everything that I tote in my pocket is my carta. My carta. Uh, look, here's that longhouse. That longhouse with that OD micarta. Uh, that is great stuff. And you, if you can tell, we just got in from working. It's it's wet, sweaty, and wet. And uh, a, a cool knife on the si other side. I got the linen micarta uh, GEC that I that I really love. That keeps in my little sheath there. Uh, beautiful knife. So uh, when I, I don't know if you've done this, Daddy. When we first started messing with knives. I thought my carta was something cheap. Did yeah, you? I did, yeah. And it amazed me that my carta would come across the block and it would sell for more than bone or, or wood or something like that. But guys, the more we get to investigating this, the more that we get to looking at this, my carta is a high quality uh, handle material. Material, yeah. Yep. So, <clears throat> what we got here is a GEC. This is uh, it's jigged. Jig my carta. Now, that's my favorite. Okay. That, that that is my favorite right there. Uh, it looks good, but it looks more like, than that, it looks like jig bone. It, yeah, it looks like jig bone, but it feels it just something a hold. It gets a hold to your hand, and you. I mean, it's just a fantastic uh, material, durable. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you can. You, I mean, it's. Think about it. This has been dropped off a ten foot <clears> ladder. Right. This has been dropped off my pack pocket up a 10 foot ladder and not a trip chip, not a crack. It is some bad stuff, y'all. Uh, so in 15 years from now, in 15 years from now, who knows if this will be collectible? I mean, all, all honestly, maybe not. But uh, my Carta, I think for the everyday carry. For the working man. For the working man. For the working man, it's, it's, it's what, what anybody needs. Uh, you, for one thing, the durability, uh, generally, blue collar working men have that have a tendency to to sweat. What? I mean, uh, that's uh, that's what men's supposed to do. The, the, you know, the Bible said we earn our bread by the sweat of our face. There you go. Okay, so we have a tendency to sweat. It runs down my face and, and goes everywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> and and when when that when that stuff gets wet, it actually becomes more. You can you can hold it, but. Uh, you can't. It, it's not slippery like it's crazy. Rosewood, like rosewood. This is what I carry. You get this wet right here, it and it's going to get slick. Uh, you get my car wet. It gets tacky, and it gets tacky, and it grip. It grabs a hold to you. Uh, and I don't know it's just indescribable how how that, how that the Macarta is. It's functional greater than uh, any other handle material that I, I know. So. Of. Uh, G10 is kind of the closest <clears throat> thing to it. Uh, G10. Is a is the same thing, uh, but it is but it's fiberglass. Yeah, it's fiberglass, so, and it's 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 it doesn't it, G10 doesn't grab a hold like the Macarta. It's does. not they yeah, they call it it doesn't it doesn't it's not porous. So uh, well, carbon fiber is I mean carbon fiber is another one that, that you know this one it's it's I like the carbon fiber handles, but it it does not uh, it does not uh, it, it does not grab a hold to the the 
But I don't know the other way to put it, just attacking exactly. itself. Exactly. Uh, George Westinghouse, I don't know if you knew this. George Westinghouse is the one who developed McCarter. Really? You know who that was? Anybody? 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 George Westinghouse was the man, him and Nikola Tesla, almost put Thomas Edison out of business. If, if it wasn't for George Westinghouse and Nikola Tesla, we'd be running everything through our power receptacles over here in uh, direct current, like our car batteries and like everything else. But he he was a great developer of uh, of alternating current. That's some weird stuff that I looked up. And I thought that was neat, but he used the Makarta as an insulin. Now here's one, uh, a case of Sasquatch Skinner. I love that. Check out that na natural canvas now Makarta. That's got some type of jig into it there. Ah, no, it's just the canvas. So, okay. so what they do is they take this canvas and they, 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 they set it in a, uh, a, 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 a resin, resin uh, high heat, high temp, uh, high pressure. I guess high heat and high temp, same thing, ain't it? High pressure. And uh, it sets to be like that, and that's just that's that's cool. Let me see that now. That's a I'm good about feeling. Now. That. It is a good feeling. Check this one out. <clears throat> this is a fixed blade here, also uh, a case fixed blade, and that is that's like an OD green. That's a burlap macar. That's canvas. Can it's you canvas, see it? Yeah. Can you see it in the in the in the texture there? There's a it's canvas, a and there's a burlap macarda. It's just really neat. Matter of fact, this thing here's got that nitro V steel. I may hold on. <laughs> That one may not sell. There's another one, Daddy. Mr. Bobby's hand There's 1095 carbon yeah. right here. Look at this. It's a Sasquatch buoy with that canvas Macarta, natural canvas Macarta. Cool stuff. Uh, what else we got over there, Mr. Bob? There's the other longhouse. Is that the same one like I got? Yeah. Joe, you got yours in your pocket? You don't? It's too pretty to... Ooh, that thing hadn't been... Guys, I, I don't know how to tell you, but if, if you're going to work with a knife, Look, here's another natural canvas Macarta in rust lock. In rust lock. But it still don't feel like that jig, G. No, that A jig is, is my pick. Yeah, I agree. GEC is doing some and stuff there, with what, what is that GEC that I'm, uh, the Plainsman? That's, That's a harvester, GEC isn't it? Plainsman with... The 74 pattern? It's a 74 pattern Plainsman, but it has a... Jig muslin Macarta. Jig muslin Macarta. Not Muslim, but muslin, yeah. L-I-N, Macarta. You get a chance to look at one of those, you will fall in love with it. Uh, so. And I'm telling you, it's just uh, it's second to none. Y'all, so when you to, when you see handle. something that says Macarta handles, matter of fact, we've got those uh, those those Ranger uh, the the 112 and 110 Buck Rangers right. come in, Rangers come in yeah. that that are Macarta handles that look a lot like the Longhouse. Right, they're coming in. Just uh, don't turn up your nose because it's not bone. Uh, or not not stag. If you're gonna if you want to stick it in your pocket and you want to tote it, just one man's opinion. I think McCart is the way to go. It's a working man's knife. Yeah, and uh, it's it really it really doesn't break the bank. Uh, it's it's not. That one, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's GEC. GEC quality. And it doesn't matter if it's if it's bone or if it's synthetic or whatever. You get a GEC, you're gonna pay more than you are for a case or anything else. But uh, there was a lady in here a while ago, yes. in the shop a while ago, and this ain't a, this this video ain't about GEC. But I told her I said, now pick that knife up compared to the case knives, because she handles case knives all the time. And when she picked it up and opened it, she said, oh, oh wow. there's no yeah. comparison compared to this GEC knife to that uh, to the to the case knife. And uh, Macarta, guys, that's uh, my opinion. That's the way to go. Yeah. And uh, I believe it. Uh, believe that you'll be satisfied if you ever get your hands on uh, some of it and uh, allow it to work for you because that's what it'll do. Yeah, make it be your tool. But uh, just, just a couple folks' opinion. Let us know what you think. Uh, agree, disagree, whatever. We'd like to hear other people's opinions. But until next time, y'all like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. What would y'all like us to talk about and discuss? That's, <laughs> that's it. Deep South Cutler, good times, great knives. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all like and subscribe. See y'all later. Investigate. Google. Google. Yeah, Google it. And I, if next we time, have to, we'll put Bobby on the side. Put Bobby behind. I don't know about them purple socks. Well, I don't right know about you guys. I uncrossed my leg. I don't know about the purple socks right there. <laughs> that's Daffy Duck. <laughs> yeah, that's so bad. Then you had the Crocs on. Hold on, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let's see. Because the boots look like it's Bill. <laughs> <laughs>
That's what Daffy does. Okay. Uh, that was worth that was worth that. <laughs> These are the knife shop monologues, right? Or dialogue. Dialogue. Knife shop dialogue. Joe, you got any closing shots? Anything? Joe, show him your legs. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Chico, 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 Joe's on the feet. Drop one. Joe, give us that classic Joe Wade. <laughs> there it is. Don't throw your shoulder out. <laughs> okay. That picture of a bull on the wall. Yep, there he is. That's what's left of him. Yeah. yeah. He just. God rest his soul. It's just more than he could bear. And the strain was more than he could bear. <laughs>